Hi everyone. I am working on the MPCNC Primo and I am going to do the initial setup of squaring. And this is the how I'm taking the approach. The idea is you mount the feet here in front to fit your table. You know, you can put the the tops on the on the corner pits to see how much they stick over and make sure it's where you want it. And then if your tubes are too long or whatever, you can trim them down so that they fit. But ideally, you plant these first two feet on a nice straight line. I use the edge of the table. Um, it's been straight before. It did my previous MPCNC really well. So with that screwed down, there really is at this point, no point in not screwing down the rest of it. So I did. I put all four screws in. I centered the tube that I have in between my two um, bottom mounts. Uh, as you can see, my table size wasn't exact, so it's maybe two millimeters on either side too short, which is yeah, really no, no big deal. It's well clamped in there, it's not moving. Whereas the Y-axis, I built based on my old system. This takes up a little bit more room uh, or less room than I thought. I get less build area. So mine sticks out to back. I could cut it, but for right now, I'm not going to, because here's what I want to do. I need to make sure that these two fixed points, since they're fixed, that I measure between this uh, flat edge here and this flat edge here and make sure that flat edge and that flat edge are identical. Um, and now I did that. I happen to have this uh, um, sharp pointed tent pole uh, that's variable and extendable because holding a measure up against things was driving me nuts. It would flex and whatnot. So I simply measure this tent pole um, flat against this edge and brought it all the way through. I did kind of have to move my truck out of the way uh, so it could get next to the pole and sat there and rubbed it back and forth across uh, this face until it was just touching. And then I tightened it down and I moved it over there and I did the same thing. Okay, with that distance between those two set to match the distance here, at least I've got the same distance of travel along the X. Cool. Now, I kind of set that up so it's just about to the back edge of my um, table uh, to get as much room as I could get. And I screwed it down because, and this is why, um, well, uh, I screwed it down here, not to the table, um, so that this bar and that bar can no longer move. And the reason is I created a uh, measurement point from here to here doing the same thing. And so in this case, my, my magic stick was, was too long, even when it's fully collapsed. So I had to use a wooden stick. And I put a wooden stick uh, between that point and that point and marked it with a fine pencil. And it came over here and made that end match. Once I got the match for length, I froze them all, all four of them. These were already frozen. I went ahead and froze those. So now what I have is two frozen full poles or corner posts with a frozen pipe in between that couldn't change length if I wanted to because these were my, my reference points. Then these are frozen now in the same length and the same length. The back is still the same length. By the way, I did double check that with my stick to make sure it didn't move. So. All of the pipes are frozen. The corners aren't going anywhere, except the back corners can still rack back and forth. Now, I use the very same pole to create a length between this flat edge right here. So I put it right where the blue and yellow touch in the middle of the extendable staff. And I go all the way to the corner to that same flat edge. And so in this case, I'll demonstrate I've got my pole. I am going to put this end right there in the center and I'm going to come over here and I'm just going to barely brush that. I, I'm snagging it just barely. 
If I put any force at it at all, it goes right past. And so then I do the same thing here. I set it up so that it is just touching there and I move it back and forth and over there I am just barely snagging it. So that is probably within a millimeter uh, diagonally accurate. And you ask, well then how did you get that? It didn't just come that way. Well, I actually had to rack this entire table this way just a little bit. Um, and so I used a clamp kind of like that on my foot so I could slowly turn and adjust it and draw this edge over because what was going on is just putting the pipes in this diagonal here was shorter than this diagonal here which meant I was racking this direction and I needed to bring it back this way but you don't want to sit there and correct the racking if your pipes can vary in length because then you're actually while you're correcting the diagonals you're no longer square and you don't want to do that so that was the method I used once I got it all set up. I drilled two holes um, where the feet are on both sides and I, I uh, drilled out the holes and put in my, in this case I just use uh, wood construction screws and I screwed it in so that uh, they wouldn't move. Once I got them down where they wouldn't move at all, even if I shook them, then I went back and used my stick again like I just showed you and remeasured the diagonals and they just scrape on both sets of parts. So for me, that is as square as I need them to be. Uh, everything else can be adjusted in steps per millimeter um, to get some fine, uh, fine positioning. But I know my frame, which is now bolted down for good, is in a good spot with my trucks already mounted. If I need to take them off, I'll have to pull out the uh, bearing if I want to do the little fine um, pulley work and it's driving me nuts with the mounting. So that's how I did the squaring to make sure they're within a millimeter of the diagonals uh, to keep them looking good.